Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to the drop competition. Today I have me, my judges, we got I am Mez and I am Dynamics and I am pretty stoked to see what everyone has in store. We have 14 videos to go through guys. And so, uh, I, I guess prior to us watching these videos, um, you know, the way that I thought about the judge, I, I thought about to make it very loose, right? Cause I think it's a, it's a really fun competition to just kind of start the GA Academy, the GA Academy Discord. And then so uh, I kind of want to ask you guys, uh, because I didn't talk to you guys prior to how we would judge this thing, but what are you guys looking for uh, in terms of like judging this thing? Because uh, the way that we're going to judge it is we're going to watch the video and then uh, we're going to go around and then we're going to, uh, there's basically going to be a scale from one to 10. And there's basically no rules, so it's basically just <laughs> your opinion. <laughs> and because I feel like, you know, because of the drop, it's like, you know, we're looking for like something, right? Everyone's looking for something different. Um, and that's part of the fun, right? And then so for me personally, um, when I'm watching these videos, I'm looking for something risky, but something that's like well balanced too, because something about the drop where it's like, okay, the drop's about to come. I'm like, you gotta hit it. Like you gotta hit it hard. And I like to see bigger movements and riskier movements in order to kind of captivate the drop, right? So, uh, Mez, I'm gonna go start with you first. What are you, what are you looking for? Um, hmm. Probably like the flashiness and, and how much of, I guess, like their best move set they pull out first. Flashiness, and then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I kind of want to see how they they spend their their move set in the beginning, and then what they do towards the end. Like, do they actually have like all this flashiness to to take up the full drop, or is it just like that beginning part? Yeah. They start taper down. So. And, and so that's kind of funny that you say that because you know I, the the rules was very loose. So like I don't know whether or not some of the Glovers even do the build up to the drop. So it's like oh. I hope that they did because that's not really part of the rules. But what about you? Daniel. Okay, first of all, I didn't even think about um, just the judgment. Like, or, I, mean, I did, obviously, <laughs> but I didn't. I thought there was gonna be like a, a scorecard or some kind of criteria. Yeah. And then now it's just like, oh, well, it's my basis. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Yeah. But um, but you were just talking about it too. Um, uh, the build up. I, I'm looking mm. up for the build up, and then like when they hit the drop, I want to see that impact. Mm -hmm, and sure. you know i want to see how they emphasize from the build up to the impact as well but gotcha I mean, gotcha yeah gotcha gotcha so like like are you looking like there, there's there's so many different ways we can go about it right so i think that's just mm -hmm. part of the fun of it so we're gonna go ahead and watch the first video and the first one is <laughs> it's our one of our boys from hawaii it's Wait, what? Rap. <laughs> can you see it what? yeah oh we got God. we got seaway <laughs> up in here and all right you guys ready So he's got that build up. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was the smoothest glove removal I think I've ever seen in the beginning. I didn't that, even know it came off. Is that gloving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. You know, I honestly, I honestly, Damn. for some reason, I didn't expect Seaway to do abstracting, but I should have expected it. <laughs> Oh no! I, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that. That's that saw that coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes. him. That that's that's him. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, I you know, that's really fun. So let me go. Let me start with you, Matt. What what what, what, do you, what would you do? One to ten. What would you give Seaway? It's the first. It's hard. The first. The first show is hard it's because hard. everything is based off that first Every, show. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah sure. Um. Just off of this first rip, I would probably give it 
maybe out of 10, right? Yeah, out of 10. Maybe a, a 6.5 or oh, a 7. Okay, well, give me 6 or 7. Which one is it? Yeah. Uh, let's go with 7. I really did like how seven. fast you remove the glove. Okay. And I like the isolations, too. Gotcha, gotcha. And what about you, Daniel? Mm. I would say... 5. 5. Uh, it gotcha, sounds a little gotcha. harsh, but um, I think um, it, it kind of comes from like um, explain this. Uh, it, it sounds really emotional, and then when it when the drop hits it, you know, I, I feel like the beat shatters. In yeah, a yeah, sense. yeah, 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 yeah. And, but he was going a little too slow for slow. my taste. I thought there was like a dramatic. Uh, hit that he could have had. Yeah. But it, it slowed... Well, yeah, it kind of, like, slowed down or just, you know, kept the same pace. There there could have been emphasis on it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I'm going to agree with you. I say five as well. I really like the buildup, but I felt like there was an energy missing from the drop because I was, like, looking for something riskier, right? Well, we're abstracting yeah, yeah, yeah. is pretty risky. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. you know it's like imagine i wonder if like abstracting w would even be legal in normal gloving competitions or if like they would even allow it but in this one it's totally allowed um <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is pretty funny um but i was looking for something a little bit more faster during the drop and something a little mm -hmm. bit more riskier because i felt like he was really you know it's it's, con it's contrary to just the style of abstracting but it's very careful with the isolations and all and i thought it was really yeah. an interesting decision to do so we're gonna go ahead and put that uh let me see if i could even put the sum on my okay 17 cool out of a possible 30 we're gonna go ahead and watch circuit so let's go ahead and watch it. what do you what do you got for us <laughs> first on this one i'm gonna give that a nine guys like to me like the i i, I would have liked to see like hit he hit a little bit more of the beats i don't think it's perfect in that regard but like i felt like his speed like like the way that he was like doing his speed adds to, like the griminess of that like that that song you know what i mean there was something nasty about it there was something so smooth but nasty at the same time that and like his his connections was like really good. Um, his tech is good. His tech is good. Is good. Yeah, is yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with Dan, uh, Dynamics next. Um, I give it a seven. Okay. Um, I I think um. He he definitely displayed. Yeah, I was just thinking like the whole show. It's like grimy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he, he had that whole atmosphere, but um. You know the when when the drop hit um it wasn't as um you know for one the the buildup wasn't as true dr dramatic as i would like um or it doesn't have to be dramatic but th there was not as much emphasis on it and see um, more. there wasn't a, yeah and i i think there could have been more of a tonal shift mm. when um the drop did hit gotcha gotcha yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i could definitely see that what about you matt Tom. again a really hard one um 
I'd say it's, I kind of, I agree with Dan. It's either a seven or an eight. I would probably give it, I'd probably give it an eight. Um, okay. I pretty much agree with Dan in regards to the beginning part um, where there was supposed to kind of be like, yeah, like a, like a tonal shift or like, it's supposed to be uh, even grimier. So like, it was grimy yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then it, it should be grimier, which is kind of gotcha. hard to do when that you contrast. start like that. Mm-hmm. Um, what I really liked about him, though, is I think the the beginning part of the drop, he had this very uh, asymmetrical approach, which is very similar to kind of like what I used mm. to do or I still do. Um, so I really like that um, asymmetry during the drop is really sick because it allows you to kind of control a lot more of the space while doing like two like very unique shapes mm-hmm. and um, and just being able to utilize them. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, so that gives that gives Circuit a twenty four. Woo! That's pretty. That's pretty, that's that's pretty, pretty high. high. That's that's, pretty that's, high. that's setting the bar right there. I think. Okay, we're gonna watch Equipped. You got a thumbnail. You got a Same. thumbnail, dude. Like, oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at he's outside, guys. He went outside. He's equipped. For this. He's yeah. equipped for this. Okay, let's go he's ahead and watch. He's actually outside. Oh, he went with the Skrillex on this one. Information. They can question our relation to the nation, our religion, supersonic, my existence, can't resist us, clearly I find myself living inside a shell, all of these things can Oh, I didn't even realize that was one minute and 20 seconds. That was a minute 20, dude. That's interesting because he decided to do uh, the majority of it is the build up, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go with uh, Dan first. I will give it a. I'll give it a five. Okay. No, six. I'll give it a six. I'll give okay. it a six. Okay. Um, I think the buildup was a little snag- stagnant at some points, and but when he hit the drop, you could definitely that you know how we're talking about the tonal shift. You could definitely feel that tonal shift. Yeah, you know there's what I a mean? shift there. For, for yeah, sure. there is a shift there. Um, but I think um, and, you know how he was playing along with the buildup. Um, you know, there, there's this thing where um, because it's a video that you can record at wherever point of a song. Mm-hmm. Um, you have that advantage of, um, you know, playing with the buildup however you want. Mm-hmm. In this case, though, I think the buildup was a little too long. Yeah. And it was, he was using a little bit uh, too much um, of the same kind of movement and gotcha. moves in general. And that kind of just hurt his uh, score, in my opinion. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, I guess I'll go first. I, I'm going to give Equip the four. Only because, and it's a pretty harsh score because I've actually done that song before. I've thrown a show to that song. So I know it's it's a tough song. And in my opinion, it's probably the toughest song out of the whole playlist, out of the whole 11 songs. Because you have to, there, there's something about the song, in my opinion, where you have, there's this smoothness to it. But there's this like little bit of a griminess to it. And, and those are two contrasting things, right? And then so yeah. I felt that like be- like finger rolls and like liquid was like a good choice for that drop but like the way that he hit it i felt that he he needed to be a lot more aggressive hitting the drop because you do see the contrast during the drop but i don't think it was as contrasty enough because you still need to hit those like harder beats with like sharp 
you know, I learned yeah, this word. the grind, right? Yeah, the, you have to hit grind. that grind in I, that song. I learned this word recently. It's called staccato movements, where it's like you're sharp and you're hitting them. But he did a lot of legato movements where they're long and elongated. So it's like that song is a perfect time to do both to have a balance. And then so yeah, yeah it's a it's a tough it's a tough score. But you know that that was the toughest song. So I throw it to you, Matt. I mean, you guys both bring up very good opinions. My score is kind of around that ballpark. I'd give it a five. Um, pretty much you guys explained everything. Daniel brought up a good point about how since this competition, you can kind of pick where you, you drop into the song and and you have that advantage of kind of like almost like storyboarding um, what you're going to do during the, the initial part and the drop. I feel like the the buildup was a little bit too long and, and kind of mm-hmm. like what Kevin mentioned, a lot of it was flow which i respect his flow is really good um but yeah i wanted to kind of see more either a grimier flow or a different type of uh technique or a different concept uh would have been cool but other than that it was sick yeah flow is super immaculate in my opinion yeah. um but it's like you yeah adding like more texture to it glitchy yeah glitchy, that's a good way of movements, it, right? it, you know describing a texture because that song has like two types of texture right yeah a lot of different sounds happening and it's like it's interesting because again contrasty sounds in that in that song so let's go ahead and move on who do we have next we have mentos which uh i've never seen this guy's name before i haven't never seen yeah mentos so let's go ahead and see what he got he's got a popping name though yeah Oh. Oh. What's this? seen this dude before i've never seen this dude before and i swear that's not Ooh, me because he's got the was... long hair with the glasses i thought that was me mm-hmm. <laughs> i thought that was us <laughs> that was that was that was honestly sick Dude, that yeah, was sick yeah matt let's go with you first sure um dude as far as drops go i would give that like yeah I'm gonna give him a nine. Yeah, okay. That was actually, yeah. That was actually yeah. a really sick way of doing the drop. And this is like one of those times where simplicity kind of just wins. Mm. Um he's timing kind of like the 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 micro melodies or like the you know, yeah. like the little pixelated yeah, sounds. That, that which is like sick. just like the simplest of finger rolls, but it's like it's so on point with the song. And the way he's kind of like moving back and forth to control like the depth perception mm-hmm. is also really sick um yeah no i was just as far as drops go that was fucking probably one of my favorites <laughs> nice go ahead go ahead dan nine um Damn. like it, it, it's just like mad said or mez whatever you want to call it <laughs> but um <laughs> um simplicity just wins in this case he did not need to emphasize no crazy techniques but um he just hits it and yeah, it was he's... sick it was sick and you know, even when he's flailing and when he when he like releases his flails and he drops it down, he's still hitting the beat. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. still nailing it. And I thought that was it was a great show. That was dope. Chef's kiss. Was like, <laughs> you know, it's funny because I've been preaching like on GL everywhere that like whips at the drop is so overplayed, but I feel like whips at the drop <laughs> on this one in particular yeah, yeah, yeah. was like per like that was it. Like this not, is good, yeah. not only You know what? Go ahead, go ahead. No, you know what kind of reminded me? It, it was like a stasis kind of vibe. You know what Ooh, I mean? Interesting. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you it know, kinda... how stasis is all about that. Like you know, the finger rolls and whips yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. That that was the exact same thing. But he had like that little 
he gave with me his a long vibe because he was harder hitting. Oh yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, like normally, like when you'll see people do whips, they'll just do the whips, not like hitting the beats. They, like yeah, they'll explode doing the whips, but the way that he would like hit the beats at like the perfect time while doing the whips, I think is what separates his from like a lot, to be honest. And I'm gonna be with you guys. I think that was a nine as well. Like I'm yeah, he was hitting beats well. per oh, whip per oh. whip. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, her whip. And so right now he's got the high score for us. And just kind of want to clarify, you know, uh, this competition, we will have two winners. So that'll go to the uh, highest two scores. So right now we got Circus and Oh, Mento man, he's got top. a great yeah. score. That was a great yeah, score. Sure. <laughs> I might have pissed everybody off because I was talking about Whips at the drop is overplayed and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said the bar, man. He, <laughs> he said, said the bar. <laughs> oh, God, okay. We're going to go ahead and watch Bio's show now. Bio's a super, like, new school Glover started the COVID, like, I think before COVID or during COVID, but let's go ahead and watch. It's COVID, baby. This is one of my favorite songs out of the whole selection, too. Oh, look at that. I like the intro. I can I think I can go the first on this one. Um, I yeah. I'll probably give them. That was a really solid seven in my opinion. I like I like that like his presence really captured the vibe of that song. Mm -hmm. I felt I I just wish that Vio was a little bit riskier with those hits because there are like some deep sounds in that song where it's like because it's deep. I want to see him like go like. You know what I mean, and it's 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 hard to capture that um, just with tech alone because um, because he was doing like these small like cluster movements, right? So they're micro grid movements, but it's like I want to see him combine that like macro with the micro to capture those that song perfectly, right? So I, I, I it's a pretty solid show, but more to be seen in my opinion. So let's go with uh, Dan. Next. Mm, I'm going to say I'm on the same boat as you with everything you just said, but I'm going to say a, a five. Um, I think, um, it, it, yeah, like you said, um, for that song specifically, you know, it, it, it's kind of like a repeating beat. So it's up to you to kind of exaggerate on those on that side alone exaggerate and, uh, that's a great word for yeah that. yeah and um you know he was just kind of displaying tech and um i feel like it was kind of just lost in translation for me like mm. it, it definitely could have just hit a lot harder and like even after the you know the drop you, i think you have to carry that energy you know what i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gotcha 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 go ahead matt <laughs> um yeah, i'm pretty much gonna echo what you guys said i'd give it a seven though because i really did like his initial build up um i do like the tech that i saw and i like the way he presented it it was very intricate but kind of like what you guys are saying i, I wish he kind of took more risks um kind of like what you were saying especially with the song how the beat goes where it like drops lower like dips there's so much you can do as far as like depth perception you could like like impact like hit this not hit the hit screen it. but like right. yeah exactly sure, hit like, the screen put like a yeah, yeah hit the screen run as well <laughs> um but pretty much everything about that show uh the tech was good everything was 
as far as like the flow goes, it was good. I just wish there was like more. I wish there was mm-hmm. more presence. Yeah, that's the yeah. common thing. That's a common thing I think with the um, with some of these these uh, drops, right? Is that we wish that there was more, and I feel like what more entails, like I guess what the commonality is, like we want to see harder hits, right? Heavier hits, like more, like you want to you want them to like explode, right? And I think that's what we're looking for in this competition is just not just good execution, but like to just ooze, right? Yeah, I, I think... Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you first, you first. Uh, I mean, I, I think Mentos was a very good uh, display of that, you know? He, yeah. He didn't need tech. He was just hitting Losing. the solid beats he needed to. Yeah, I guess in the end, this is a musicality contest, if you think about it. it. it yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely... you have. It's the drop. It's that the drop. drop. It's, That's it's the, the pivotal moment. The pivotal moment. It is what makes or breaks the show, right? I think... I think when it gets to the drop of the song, that's when the Glover can show like their most personality or their persona. Basically, it's like when it gets to the the drop of the song, it's like you're standing on stage at that point and you, you're presenting everything uh, that you have basically in your arsenal. 100%. Let's go ahead and go to our next Philos- philosophy. I don't like this song. My voice is scattered to the wind and clouds. Look away. A million words I don't know how to say. And every day. I feel like the lights are blinking the same time as the song. You know I'm here to stay. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Huh? I think she could have hit the song a lot harder. Um, it was very slow flow. You know, I wanted to see a little bit more content. I really like the fact that she was a lot more closer to the lens than most. But I felt like it made a bit. It may have been too close all the time. Mm. And a good way of like just making more of that impact is to utilize your Z axis, right? So have that space out back and forth so maybe um you know I, I maybe a spacing issue i would think um i'm gonna go ahead and just give that one a four because i i like the delicateness of the moves it just what it, it didn't really hit the drop she didn't really hit the drop too hard there yep let's go with uh matt um Pretty much kind of what you're going off of. Uh, I think that, well, first, I'd give it a five. Um, the reasoning behind that is, yeah, her, even though it was very close to the lens, I feel like in this scenario, it was uh, more of a disadvantage um, only because there could have been maybe just a, a better, uh, how do I explain this? Like a better use of, of the the space that she did have like you're mentioning the z-axis moving back maybe even controlling more of just like verticality too i didn't see as much there um i did see kind of like the uh the musicality there's like a part in the song where it goes like do 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 and she was basically oh doing the like drum a like the, the synth drums right i think so yeah, yeah. she she was basically doing a thread and it lined up perfectly mm. um so i like that that was when i kind of caught it uh, I just wish that it, it hit harder because the musicality was there. Just like the impact of that that part of the song wasn't. Um, but still, it was solid. I really like the intricacy. I really like the slowness of it. Go ahead, Dan. I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to be the Simon. Um, I think um, 
there is a delicacy to the song in the beginning. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think at that pace that she was going initially, it does generally capture it. But a song like that, it, it has a burst, right? It, it, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's a burst. <laughs> and, you know, there is no change of pace whatsoever. There's no, um, tech that, um, shows that you're changing to the, that song in that um, big initial moment where you need to display that song's biggest hype, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, on top of that, um, I'm actually going to um, go against you, Matt. When when those, like, that bump up, uh, I can't really describe it, but it's like when the, the, the synth drums kind of come in, um, that was another point you could have probably used to emphasize on something and it, it was just kind of like lost it, mm -hmm. it, it definitely could have been hit somewhere in between i didn't see it i think i think the biggest thing is just speed control like just mm -hmm. you know uh I'm yes not, yeah it's yes. just i think it's to, just to like that, that like speed control was a huge factor right so it's like a, a, a lot of speed utilizing fast and slow could have been easily used for for musicality in this yeah. show um but yeah it is i, I do like me some slow flow and, and sometimes it's just hard to really capture a co type of competition like this going slow, just slow, right? It's yeah. like you need that uh, versatility. You need the variety. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, next, we have we got Batman. We got Batman up <laughs> in here. Oh, this is nice, actually. Oh, the way. Okay, so uh, so that was they had that, a community vote. Yeah, so that that was a community. That was the first submission for the community vote because originally we had ten, but I thought it'd be cool to have just a community vote for like the drop to see because like it's it's like a different type of vibe, right? And so like it, it, it that's cool that he used the uh, community vote song. So okay. like yeah, I thought I if, if you guys can I, I can go first. Um, sure. I thought that like his his tech was really solid. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think he was like one of the few that like main king tutting for the drop initially uh, i do think that the tutting was a bit premature though and it mm -hmm. because he started doing the tutting before the actual drop which is actually a common problem that you'll see is cuz cuz like the my mindset behind the whole like build up and drop thing is that uh during the build up into the drop there should be like an initial contrast right and then so like it was more of a blend rather than a contrast and so I think that kind of affected it. Um, but all things considered, I would probably give him a six because um, it was pretty, it was solid. And like, there weren't any like big moments in my opinion, um, but it was a clean show. And, you know, it's just, I don't think anything really, anything really stood out to me that much rather than it was a clean show, right? Um, I'm gonna. I was teetering on a six or a seven, but I, I, I do think, yeah, it, it's probably a six because um, I, I was trying to think of a way to describe, it and you, you described it perfectly. It was like you know, it the tuts were blending into the song versus what you know the way I think about tuts, especially if you're gonna use it on a drop. That is the you know that's where you hit hard, right? Yeah, that's what I would think, and I think um. That song is kind of, um, I think it's kind of a poor way to describe it. It's kind of clappy, you know what I mean? There's like, um, there's mm. like beats to hit, um, and 
I think that was kind of also initially lost. And on top of that, there was no moment where it stood out or it popped to me. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, when you think about the idea of a contest called the drop, right. that, that's what you want. Gotcha. Go ahead, Matt. Mm, I'm going to give it a seven. I was kind of leaning towards a six, but I really did like his tech. I'm going to award him one extra point for the tech. His tech, like you said, was very clean. Um, I didn't see any execution errors or anything, but yeah, I really did wish. I feel like that's going to kind of be like the the theme throughout this competition is like, I wish I saw more um, of the persona of, mm. of his show. I wish I saw a little bit more, not necessarily risk taking, just um, kind of more of an impact. And that's kind of something that we kind of mentioned with a lot of the buildups. Mm. Um, I also did like the tuts. I just, yeah, I think it was a little bit premature. I, I feel like maybe if it flowed into it better and it hit harder, uh, that would have worked better in his case. Um, but other than that, I really like the tech. So yeah, I thought that's I a great seven. point. Yeah, that's a great point. I thought the tech was very vanilla. It was good. It was mm-hmm. foundationally good, but like I would say a little bit more like spice to it, you know, more flavor yeah, to yeah, the yeah. tech mm-hmm. to really encompass the the whole competition. Because he's got the potential for it. The, the way that he's setting it up, yeah, it definitely looks like he he has more in his arsenal. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and watch. Oh, this one might be a, a fan favorite, but it's oh, Limit. Man. We got Christian Lim here. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, Christian Lim. Oh, 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 dude. Oh, shoot. Daniel, let's go with you first. I give it an eight. Eight? Okay. I give it a, yeah. I, um, I don't... Ah, sh- <laughs> Come on, I'll you. give it... Oh, man. This is... Dude, it's... <laughs> it was sick. That was sick. <laughs> that was very different. Oh, man. I'll give it an eight. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll stick by that score. Um, honestly, his buildup was great. Yeah. Um, his, yeah, and and honestly, like like the whole the lights blinking and everything. That was like I I he he understands the assignment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, like he, he he set up his lights just to do these crazy things, and I really <laughs> fucking dig that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, dude, dude, uh, he brought something new to the table in this competition. Like, I swear, he, he every time he would teleport, it would change colors. And I've yeah. never, ever seen that before. Um, What I really respect about that show in particular, and just with Limit's shows in particular, was, like, his persona. Like, in the beginning, he started <laughs> off facing the other way, bro. Like, he started off facing, like, facing the other way, then he turned around, and that's just showmanship on a whole nother level right and yeah. like to 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 do what he does and it cap like to me it captured maybe not perfectly in my opinion like with some of the, the the smaller beats but like he hit all the bigger beats in my opinion perfectly so i'm gonna give him like a nine i'm gonna give him a nine because like he brought something new to the table he did the assignment and like uh it's just overall fun show 
Bro, I'm immediately going to get called biased for this. I guarantee you. Um, and I, I'll admit, I very much am. Uh, I love limit shows. <laughs> um, and and especially the use of Conjuring. As you probably already know, I am a sucker for Conjuring. Um, dude, I, I got it. Give, a, give your honest score, man. Yeah, no, honest, I, know what's, I know what's coming. <laughs> I know what's coming. Yeah, I give it a 10. Dude, Damn, I mean, to that's me, the first 10, dude. To me, it's just that show pretty much captures what I would look for in a drop. And and maybe mm. it's a little bit different for, for you guys because, um, you know, you're not really doing as much conjuring or... Uh, you see, it's like, it sounds so biased, but like when I think of the drop and I think of conjuring at the drop, that's like a very uh, soft spot for me. I, I respect it a lot more because... It is a lot harder to make a drop look good with only two lights on versus ten. That is actually mm -hmm. um, well, he did multiple ways. He did it. Multiple yeah, he did. Ways he did too, a bunch of different things. Yeah. Very complex within itself, and it doesn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta pay respect to like conjuring in that regard. That on top with the musicality as well. So yeah. it's like I don't even think that's like a biased score. Um, but like that's <laughs> like if you put all those, if you consider <laughs> all those things, like like damn, that's actually really impressive. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think on... Oh, go ahead, bro. I keep cutting you off. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. I was just going to say, like, as far as all the shows we've seen so far, this is the one where I've seen the most persona. And, like, I already mm. have seen his shows before. So to still say that, like, I can see his persona in this one is, like, even more so... Um, I think that's that's the reason I'm giving it a ten, and I'm not I'm not changing my answer. So <laughs> yeah, um, I, honestly, I was gonna say like whether I give an eight, you give a ten, or Kevin gives a nine. I I think it's all validated because it was a good show. It you know you crazy. could not argue with any of those scores in my opinion. Right. That was yeah. a show. You know what I'm saying? A that was show. a show. Yeah, that was a show. <laughs> that was a show. <laughs> right. That's funny. Speaking of personas, we've got Slade. Who I love this guy because oh, is this he <laughs> is a persona, bro. He is a character, dude. And let me show you why. Is he have the? He's got the like mask? yeah, the mask and everything. Okay, <laughs> ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> dude, <laughs> why is he so deep excited? so <laughs> I like that actually I dude like that, that was so <laughs> sick man what the heck good. daniel look, you can go first um i'll give that sorry i'll give that a i'll give that a six okay i think i think every other part of the show was sick as fuck but the the drop was to me it it could have hit harder okay um, and that's what i was kind of looking for but yeah i i honestly think every other aspect of musicality he was hitting it but um, i'm just strictly judging it on you know just hitting that pivotal part and i think gotcha gotcha he, he kind of did hit it but it wasn't as what i was looking for right. maybe yeah, yeah gotcha gotcha I, I, i'll go ahead yeah I, i'm gonna give him a seven on that one uh i thought that his his 
And sorry, everybody, if I'm using this word wrong, but I've been I've been hearing the term phrasing a lot more lately. Mm. I thought his phrasing was really good. Like his his pieces, like like where they should like the pacing and like like what he chose to do in these specific parts of the song, I thought was really, really good. Um, That and like uh, I thought. I mean, I I love the character obviously because I I love the whole tech wear thing, and I thought that his whole theme of the show was really, it was very themed. It it was like bro, that's like that's like a fable. That's like a fable entry right there. Um, oh, and I really enjoyed that that thing. I'm a sucker for those kind of things. Um, so like a, a lot of respect, especially gloving with that mask on and, and wearing the whole get up especially I, I know he lives in hawaii so it's like bro what you doing like it's freaking oh, it 100 degrees oh, is he in hawaii yeah yeah you probably met him before actually but oh really yeah yeah yeah. maybe not with the mask if, if you went to the uh sessions before but not with the mask yeah he'll bring that <laughs> to events but anyway um i just thought that like yeah everything like his phrasing and everything was so good I just feel like maybe once he gets the execution down and those hard hitting moments, then it's like I feel like maybe he could be the one to win the competition. You know what I mean? Just with those, mm, yeah, I could see that. Hit, I could definitely see him winning if it like was like harder hitting and like a cleaner on the execution. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Matt. Oh, um, yeah, I I'd, I'd also give it a, a seven. Um, I feel like a lot of not just Slade, but a lot of uh, the entries here, there's so much potential. I see a lot of just like basically grinding paying off. Um, what I really liked about Slade's show is like, as you mentioned, kind of like the theme or the character that he portrays. Um, I especially respect having to wear something on your face while giving a show. I kind of know something about that. So <laughs> I also can agree that, yeah, it is is a, a little bit... Uh, it, it, there, there could be challenges um just like you don't really get to see sometimes the full depth of your show uh but as far as his show goes it was really it was really sick it was really uh well put together i also do kind of notice and uh maybe kev or Slade, you can correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like he's kind of uh he built off of momentum i feel like mm. as as the drop was continuing as the second part was coming up that's when I started to see a lot more of his moveset. I started to see a lot I more would agree. control. Yeah, he had like more, uh, more like of a hit to to the song, and that's kind of like a very momentum based approach, which is pretty sick because you can you can do a lot with it. You can build up into like just like crazy intensity. Um, but yeah, I, I would give it a seven. Yeah, very very visual Glover. Very oh, visual. Sure. Three, yeah, first. two, one. Wait. Wait. Is that in Christian? Is that in Christian? <laughs> That's, what I was just about to say. That's not Christian Lim again, is it? <laughs> no. That's an actual forbidden angle. That was dope. That was dope. dope. Matt, you can go first. Oh, man, I'm biased again, aren't I? Um, (laughs) Damn, dude. I'd give it an eight. Um, Wow. The show... As far as the drop goes and, and everything that, I guess, encompasses that show, I feel like there there's a lot of just sh- strong, kind of like what we, we talked about, potential. Um, we call these things like forbidden angles. I don't know if it, everybody calls it that, but we especially do because when you go into the angle, there's almost like a... Y- you kind of feel uncomfortable unless you're really like unless you're really confident that it looks good and i feel like um with with this show there there was confidence in those angles which is something that you don't really see too often 
Um, the tech itself was also really good. There was a lot of intricacy, and there were times where it just it hit the beat of the song. Um, I probably would have liked to see just more, um, maybe more space control, um, especially like a verticality. I always, I always like verticality. Um, the Z axis was used well, um, but I, I really want to see like that verticality. I also, I think that they have a very good understanding of the grid as well, because there are certain moves they did where it, it had like a, like a ladder feel to it. And, mm -hmm. and you have to understand where the grid is to be able to do that and make it actually look like, um, like there's a grid there. Um, but yeah, I, I'd give it an eight. Go ahead, Dan. I really appreciated the show. I thought it was really good. I, I thought they were hitting all the beats they needed to, um, especially when they were playing with the, like Matt said, when they were playing with the ladder movements, um, mm -hmm. and whatnot, they were hitting it and they were playing with, you know, with those forbidden angles and they, they were taking a risk and. I just thought um, for most of the song, they were hitting it well. However, my, my biggest gripe was that even though they hit the beat on the drop, I was kind of wishing for a little more on that part. And, um, and I think that if they executed it well, it could have been easily an eight or nine for me. Awesome, awesome, yeah. I I'll, I I differ from you guys. I'm gonna give that a six because, um, for for one thing, I thought that the tech actually made me think a lot about certain angles that I never thought about before. I thought that mm -hmm. you know I'll probably rewatch that show again just to kind of steal some of those angles. <laughs> um, but I feel like there was a really big emphasis on the angles and the connections rather than like hitting the drop the most that it mm -hmm. could be. You know, what I, mean? I felt like the the aesthetic of the show didn't quite really match with the song as much because I'm looking for those deeper hits and more of that risk, right? Um, I really like the tech, but like I, I feel like thinking more about how you could do less moves and hit those moves with the drop and or the beat more. Um, you know, that's 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 overall what I thought about the show, and so that gives us a twenty-one. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. To snaps. Three, two, Why has everybody got like a cool? Oh, he went with Zomboy. So cool. He went with the Zomboy. Show. Go ahead, go ahead, Matt. You feel you feel like you want to say something, dude. I wanted to see like what he would have done after. <laughs> I <laughs> wish there was a little bit more. Matt. Interesting, interesting. Oh, that was such a sick show. You know, it, because um, usually in songs, there's there's always the second drop, which yeah. typically maybe would have been harder than the first one, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like that's that's a that's interesting that you brought that up. So I mean, let, let's go. Let's start with you first. Yeah, yeah. Um. Brother is clean too. He's, He's good. Actually. He's, He's good. clean. He's good. I want it, dude. I want to so badly give this a nine, but I'm gonna give it an eight. I'll explain why. Um, as far as shows go, it was super clean. The tech was really good. A lot of the moves that he picked during the parts of the song it fits perfectly. 
but again it's it's like this common theme i wish it hit just a little bit harder that one it just it just needed to hit just a little bit harder and and i would have given it a nine um because everything about that show as far as his persona as far as how he's approaching the drop the micro movements to kind of like the the little parts of the song like the little intricacies i really liked it he has good usage of diagonals, which is, I think, the first time we've seen it in mm. this competition. And diagonals is kind of, it's not necessarily a forbidden angle, but it's something that mm -hmm. uh, it does take a little bit of work to, mm -hmm. to make it look good. And I think it fit perfectly in the song. Yeah, I was, every time he would, like, pause, like, I felt it, right? But then, like, there, mm. that was, like, maybe once or twice. But I was looking, like, especially for, like, that song, because I was, like, I want to, like, see, like, right but then he was very uh, reserved with it which i think is um a pretty common characteristic of his style in general considering i've watched a lot of snap shows um mm -hmm. i'm a fan of, of of his shows uh but well, are like, me a fan too like he like i could <laughs> see him hitting those 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 bigger beats with smaller movements and like he has that mm. stick so it feels it's like it's like it feels pretty satisfying but like i could be even more satisfied if you would just hit it harder dustin and then so yeah i i have to agree with matt on this one i'm gonna give him an eight as well that's why i was screaming when the song and or like the video ended because i was like dude yeah. i know there was more backed up yeah. <laughs> go ahead oh, man. i'm actually gonna be the black sheep i'm gonna give him a nine i <laughs> actually think you guys are you know uh and you know you are saying that he has to hit the beat hard, and I actually kind of agree. But um, there's there's like this form. You said it uh, best way possible. There's a stick to when he hits his things, mm -hmm. and not only that, I think the way he interpreted the drop was his own way. And I could, you know, okay. To me, there's people who go slower, but there's not like awareness of pace. But he, there is definitely. You know, he was definitely thinking about it. You can see that, in my opinion. Obviously, it doesn't go crazy, and it doesn't hit that bounce, but you can definitely tell he hit the drop, in my opinion. And it, it was, look, I want to see it's interpretive, and it was well done. If that was, if this was a normal gloving competition, I think that would, like, place really well. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's like, a good like, show. Like, all, like, just everything, com like, considered, like, skill-wise, that is a really good show. Yeah, color me impressed. I'd like to change my answer. I'm going to give him a nine. <laughs> <laughs> no rules! Okay. There's no rules. Okay, we're, we're giving Dan, him a nine. Dan kind of made me realize that is absolutely the way that he wanted to approach the drop. And even though I wanted to see like just a little bit harder of a hit, he still did the hit pretty much the way that his shows would be it almost reminds me of um for for you ogs uh nick bash like flow shows interesting a lot of it was very just like well put together um just clean clean yeah i think so we're that. looking for like a crunchy hit but we got a crispy hit you know what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 it. so let's move on over to starstream Oh, he's got that death glare. Bro, I feel like I'm about to get fucked up. Dude, look at that crazy mod on his legs. Dude, bro. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, what the f- Hey. You wanna see a dead body? Oh, oh. Just 
squares. Glovers, glovers are just getting so crazy nowadays. I thought that was probably the most complex display of skill this whole competition. I True. will say, however, I thought he missed a lot of big beats. And it was more of a showcase. Dude, McKinley, McKinley is just flexing his technical ability here. Let's be real here. Um, and I thought, like, like just crazy, crazy tech. Like that, I feel like that, like where he's going right now is where gloving is gonna be, like in the future. I just felt like he just missed so much big beats and like he was just stuck in the tech and not really utilizing like any power or anything like that. So his approach was a little bit different, but I think for this competition, it was not the right showcase for it. And so I'm gonna have to give McKinley a five, even though I know that this guy is. A technical god and all he's just a great glover i think for this competition i would have wanted to see more risk in his hits rather than his technical ability you know what i mean go ahead dan um uh, i'm gonna give that a four i think his tech is really good though i was actually like he was bending his fingers and uh I was skills. just, yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I, I know it's skills. I, I'm just being kind of little. He just keeps bending his fingers to places I just <laughs> don't expect. He keeps bending them and bending them. <laughs> and, Talking and, about uh, this one, <laughs> <laughs> it's just everything. Um, but um, more on the serious side, though, um, this deck is really good. I um, just um, just regarding the competition, I, I wish he would. When I was saying square, they are all. Shows pretty much, you know, a square, and um, I wish he kind of like branched a little more to hit yeah. those beats as well. I think that yeah. could have been a very big um point he could have had, um, for that song like that. And mm -hmm. um, it, it's just the missed mark for that. Um, and I think, like you said too, he there's a lot of things missing in that show, and tech is good, but I think for the drop. I think um, there's more to be desired. Yeah, if this was a tech comp, that one's probably uh -huh. winning. Like, you know what I mean? If this was a tech comp, sure. that, that one's on the top for sure. Go ahead, sure. man. Yes. Man, they call me the generous judge because I can never rate anything under a five. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, dude, if this was like an all styles competition, that's a 10 to me. Just the way that his tech... He just works so perfectly with the rest of the moveset. And you know the thing is, like, sometimes when you watch Glover's shows, right, especially if you know them personally, you know which parts of their shows that's like a sequence that they, they memorize or like a sequence that they're just so comfortable doing. That's like, those are his sequences. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, he was so comfortable doing those. And to us, we're just blown away because of how complex it is. Um, I would give it a 7 the reason for that is yeah i feel like he wasn't capturing the drop until he started feeling i guess more confident it was near the end it was like the last yeah 30 yeah, yeah that's what i kind of noticed too yeah. he yeah. started moving he started moving faster he started using more of his body he started using different concepts especially like he was using like this i think and he was like over here yeah um which is is very contrast to the beginning part which was super tech heavy and then after that, he just went into kind of like this confidence, more like a persona. Um, so I'm going to give it a seven. Awesome. Awesome. So let's move on to we're almost done, guys. Two more and then we're pals. So we're going to go ahead and watch Z's show. Ready? Three, two, one. We're just starting. We're just starting, bro. No <laughs> bullshit. We, we're in it. That was fun. <laughs> 
interesting, Dan. You can go first. Um, I'll, I'll give that a... I'll give that a five. Um, I, I, I think the biggest thing for me that hurt, and this kind of went back to an earlier video. I can't remember who it was. But, you know, you have the power to play with the editing of your video. And you know, part of the drop is, you know, the buildup is essential. You know, it, it, mm. it's a thing that people are anticipating before the curtains rise, right? And I think mm. that was missing, and that really, really hurt the show for me. Um, but I do think, otherwise, um, you know, he was kind of killing it, but, you know, the biggest thing was the drop, or the buildup. And um, yeah, that's that was my biggest um gripe about it. Interesting. I think yeah, I think it's interesting because it's like we're judging solely based on the drop, but then like there are no rules against whether or not you should do the build up, like you should do the build up or you don't. Yeah. Um, but I I'm gonna judge it just based on the drop, regardless, without the build up. So I, I think all things considered, I would give him like a seven of, because because I, there, there was the speed control that I was trying to look for with a lot of submissions that I just didn't really get besides yeah, from, from, from Mentos. Uh, b like, but then there were some, uh, I guess, jitteriness to his movements and there was a lot of like, uh, I consider that a lot of execution errors, right? Because there's a lot of jitteriness to the speed control because uh, uh, like high level, like high speed speed control is hard. It's complex. You have to know the muscles to flex. You have to know the right muscles to not flex. So it's kind of like, I felt like it was very stiff in that regard, but the speed was what I was looking for, um, which is why, you know, I'm going to give a seven uh, because I thought that like also the, 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 the timing for the moves was great. There was just yes, something about the speed control for me. Go ahead, Matt. I can agree with that score. Like, like, like if I feel like just personally for me, the the framework of the drop is pretty important to me, which includes the build up. But if, I feel like if I had that, I would have actually given it like a seven two. Mm. Go ahead, Matt. Um, um hard. Um. I would give it a seven too. Uh, basically, what I really liked about this show is, and it's kind of it's funny because, if I'm not mistaken, the only other person, well, the person that originally brought up this point, um, was the one that I kind of spent a little bit too much time on the build up. So there's kind of like this, there's, there's like this middle between like, uh, the build up being too long. Or, or there, there's like no build up at all. Um, that's, that's ironic, like right? Like, yeah, that's pretty yeah. interesting. <laughs> that is actually very ironic. <laughs> that's what those two yeah. shows are the ones that had that. Um, so I really did like the show. I really like based on how we're judging it on the drop. I really like the way that he did the drop, or they did the drop. Uh, I also really liked just overall the presentation of it. I do believe that there is a little bit of. Um, they could have they could have had a little bit better control uh with their speed control and it was i think during the the tutting part um the drop kind of calls for like these like like harder like dips and so that's something i would like to see i did like how they kind of uh repeated an angle though that was yeah, really that was, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, that was really that. fun because yeah, yeah. we sometimes do that too um but overall yeah i'd give it a solid seven yeah and i think it's an interesting it's interesting to point out with these competitions that are very loose that you know there's a strategy right that's not something that we <laughs> talked about there's there's kind of sort of like the strategy to how you're it going is. to tackle the competition it's like you know strategically you know we you know we don't like the build up i feel like as well we do like the build up but it's like you're, <laughs> you're waiting for that release from the drop right you're waiting for that release but in order for that to even happen is like you need the build up right and so i thought i thought it's interesting that we saw the opposite opposite side of the coin opposite of yeah the, for for this comp so it's like the it's like the three bears you know like one soup is too hot one soup is too cold <laughs> yeah. the last soup is just, just right just like right yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to our last show fire blight all 
right, go ahead, go ahead and play it. Oh, this is Russell. It's from California. Okay, three, two, one. Dude, you know what's crazy is he's he's using ribbons. Yeah, <laughs> dude, what he's was the last using time ribbons. I've seen ribbons, dude. Holy crap! I, yeah, what kind of dude, shit that's is dope. That? He made ribbons like he good. made ribbons look <laughs> good, dude. Or trace or ribbon or whatever. Yeah, was that was that? Yeah. That's that sick. I, it's yeah, been a while I've never since seen I've a seen ribbon it. show in a so long. I actually, oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that until you told me. I was like, wait, there's why does it look so like long? Like, why does it look so? <laughs> like, like, like yeah. urr, you know like interesting Daniel let's let's uh let's go with you first I'm gonna give it dude this is tough I, like I want I want to I want to give it like a nine but like so, so this the thing that kind of sucks is there was a standard that I you know for nines and you know when I reserved that it doesn't it's no no I'm gonna give it a nine I'm gonna give it a nine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine because there's no there, there shouldn't be a reason why um it doesn't match up to it. Um I, I definitely think uh you know I I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna give it an eight. Sorry, I'm iffy. But I'm gonna give it an eight because the, there was definitely the point like he had everything going in the beginning and it was sick. Even the ball that he presented in the yeah, beginning, I felt like, it. Yeah. yeah, I felt it. Yeah. But um, I was waiting for this kind of like boom, you know what I mean? Like, like, but he did hit it. He but did I, hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh. did hit it, but I was waiting for this like boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. But, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I totally get. It. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I, um. I mean, that's that's mostly what I want. He, I love the show, and I love the fact that he decided to go ribbons. That to me is so brave. <laughs> That is. It, it's yeah. a very great move. You don't see For people sure. using ribbons because, but yeah, I think sure. it added a lot of intensity to his show too. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a nine, bro, because because the, the there's something about his presence, dude. This pre bro, he, dude, he just it, drops that shit on you, bro. It's just a fucking badass presence, dude. It, like, it, it is. It was like because like he's he's like. He's like setting you in, like, Burm, and he's just like, grabbing. he sets a tone, and he, he sets, sets a, a tone. tone. And I fuck with that tone, bro. It's just that the thing that's like stopping me from making it like a 10 is simply just the execution. You can still kind of see a little bit of that, like, intermediate, like, hiccups a little bit of times with his like forms and like his, his, his control with his movements. But like when it came down to it, like the important parts, like he would be, he would be like there. He's like there. It's just a little bit of the little hiccups, right? The hiccups in the movement, and then so like, I feel like if it, if he just had like crispier movement, like that would have been an easy ten for me because I like the vibe and with that song, like with that song, I felt like he captured that song with the like his presence perfectly. Like I felt like out of all the the um. The shows we watched today, like his persona was 
probably most fitting to the song compared to the others, in my opinion. Go ahead, Matt. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to give it a nine because I'm a generous judge. <laughs> um, no, no, no. no. generous? <laughs> I don't think that's generous. <laughs> I mean, like... I think that's deserved. Yeah, I, I just... I really like the way that he did the drop. I do agree that there were parts where I guess I, I wish I saw... Kind of like what Daniel said, like, he hit it. But we wanted him to, like, hit, like, hit it, like, for, like explode kind of like what he was saying um i really also like the way that he was controlling a lot of his space i think that's kind of why i'm i'm giving him a nine yeah. it, was, it was especially during i think the like the so the drop happened and then it was like kind of like the second part of that first drop he started doing moves it was almost reminiscent of uh of bow or like tech the way that he kind of like was pulling his arm and he was controlling like that that grid space mm -hmm. But still, like, aligning with the way that the drop and, and how the beat was going, I thought that was, like, super sick. Um, but, yeah, there, there were some, like, minor hiccups that I saw as well. Other than that, I really liked his flow. It was very, uh, it was the most aggressive approach to that song that I've seen in this competition. But I really liked it. Like, the song calls for it. So, mm -hmm. it, it's, it is, that was a very good show. I'm going to awesome. revise my score after listening to your <laughs> points. Because... I, I was thinking it, and you guys just validate it, and I just kind of ignore it. I'm going to give it a 9, too. Damn. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. So, okay, awesome, dude. Niners. All right. So, uh, yeah, we actually have a three-way tie, guys. Do you want to oh, know who that is? That's Mentos, Limit, and Fire. Fire Blight, dude. We got there's two winners, team. right? There's two winners, but you know what, guys? I'm just going to say, fuck it. I'm going to reward all three of them. All right, bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to choose reward. between those three. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to take it, like, take away from anybody, but congratulations to Mentos, Limit, and Fire Blight, you three. Uh, you guys did the drop the best in our opinion, and you guys absolutely killed it. Um, yeah. So thank you guys, everybody, for watching. Uh, this was super fun to do, to be honest. Yeah, uh, maybe I we'll guess. do. Cool. Yeah, maybe we'll do more the drops later on, or we'll we'll do a spin off of this type of series later on. But uh, Matt and Dan, thank you guys so much for helping me along judging this oh, really? awesome fire ass competition. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for what we got next. Um, and I would say uh, if you want to compete in future competitions, join the Glory Academy Discord. The link's going to be in the comments or description below. Uh, so thank you guys once again for watching. Peace. Uh, peace. <laughs>